Hey everyone, Nadine here, and today I'm going to be making a Halloween shaker card using some dies from Poppy Stamps and some of their stamps as well. So these are, this is the Sunrise, or Surprise Skeleton, and then there's the Smiling Jack-O-Lantern and Scary Ghost, and the stamp set is Halloween Fun. And then this is from Memory Box. This is just their basic circles that I'll be using. Okay, so I have my card base. And then my card front is just a quarter of an inch smaller than the card front or the card base. And what I'm going to do is take oops, the two dies, which... The smiling, smiling jack o' lantern and the surprise skeleton. Just kind of figure out where I'm going to want those on the front of my card. But at the same time, I'm also going to take the stamp because I'm going to use the Hall Halloween Hello, a Halloween Hello stamp. So I want to make sure I'm still going to have room to stamp that into the middle. And then just using a little piece of washi tape, I'm going to hold those into place and then I'm going to run it through my Gemini Junior. Cut these out. There you go, you can see how those came out. Put my hand behind it so you can see it a little better. Okay, so now using the Scary Ghost die. I'm going to emboss these, this one. Just kind of line it up where I'm going to want them. Want the little ghost. Use my washi tape again and hold it into place. And I'm going to use the rubber mat because I don't want this to cut. I just want it to emboss. And I'm going to do that randomly over the front of the card. There you go, you can see how that looks. They're both embossed on there. Now I'm just going to take some colored pencils. Oops, there we go. I'm going to use the white. And I'm just going to go through and color on the, the ghost. Okay, now I got my ghost colored in. Now I am going to stamp my sentiment on the front of the card. Get it lined up in my Misty. And then I'm going to stamp this with some Versamark and emboss it with some white emboss powder. Before I stamp it, I'm going to use my anti-static tool on here. Oops. And then I'm just going to heat set that. Okay, so there's that. And then the next step, using my painted on cutting mat, and then I die cut out the same dies twice, once on some orange cardstock and then another on some white. And I'm just going to use my cutter here and trim it right off. Same with the skeleton. And then using some on point glue. I'm going to adhere both of these on right over the image that I already had cut out. Like so. So there it is so far. So now going to the back side of the card, I'm going to use some double stick tape. 
going all the way around. Now using the basic circle set, I used one of the circles, it's just a little bit bigger than each one of those, and cut out an acetate piece. So I'm just going to adhere that right over the top of each one. Next I'm going to take some foam adhesive. I'm going to peel it back and I'm going to fold it over onto itself. This way I have the double thickness of it. And then I'm just going to cut that in half. And I think one of these strips I'm going to cut in half again. And then I'm just going to start going around each circle. This is going to create my pocket for the sequences for the shaker. Okay, so I now have all of the, the foam adhesive add it onto there and now I'm just going to start putting in some of my fillers. Alright, so now that I got all the fillers in there, the shaker fillers and all the backing peeled off of the foam adhesive, I'm going to adhere onto it onto a back panel. And then I'm just going to adhere this down to my card front. Like so. And then my card is completed. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. And if you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye-bye.